Hi, hi, Gemini. <laughs> this is your reading with me. I hope you're excited. Um, anyway, so I just feel really, um, I have a lot of energy today. I, I don't know what is happening. I'm filming at night, which is, I feel like it's the time. It's my time to be filming at night. You know, my name actually does mean moonlight in real life, believe it or not. And, uh, I feel like it's just meant to be, isn't it? So I'm just trying to grab your cards, but I just knocked over an entire tower of cards. Here we go. There's one deck. And I'm going to also use this deck as well. I'm going to get some uh, like eternal messages as well, which I'm really excited about actually uh, getting as well. So yeah, we will definitely, you know, see what is happening. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for Twin Flame, November 2020. If you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be in the description box below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. Last thing I want to mention... Intention bracelets are on my Etsy store, um, so do check those out. I'm actually wearing the Love Twin Flames Soulmate and Singles bracelets. There's also Evil Eye Protection, Health and Happiness, Confidence um, bracelets. If you want to see the reviews to see how people have seen results with these handmade bracelets, please check out my Etsy store, which has the uh, review section on there. So the link to my Etsy store is down below, and there's also tassels and crystals. There's hand embroidered intention cards, which you can put under your pillow, in your wallet, or your purse. There's just so many amazing things on there and yeah, thank you so much for all of the support you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's, you know, lots of items for different areas of your life, not just love, <laughs> you know, evil eye protection, etc. So yeah, international shipping. Let's get started, Gemini. Okay, so I'm going to do a row for you, a row for them, a row for the outcome and also going to pull some eternal messages as well as we go along. So let's see what's going on here. You're worried. You're worried about something, Gemini. Okay, let's just do this for a second. There we go. Yeah, you're, you're worried. Anxious, stressed, frustrated, drained of energy. Yeah, look at that. Eight of Swords as well on your side. So this is how, this is what's going on in your side. You've got the Ace of Cups here as well. Now let's have a look at them. Got the Four of Pentacles as well. Okay, so on their side you've got the Eight of Pentacles. You've also got, okay, it's too many to take, so I'm just going to take this um, Six of Pentacles which came out, Ace of Swords, mm, again just got two here, so you've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Empress, I was going to say again, oh, just too many to take, but you know, I saw the cards, and I think that when you see the cards, you can't unsee the energies, um, they're just so present, right? Okay, well, here's what I see between you and your twin, I'm going to pull the outcome in a minute, but I do feel that you're really frustrated that this person, aka your twin flame, is not putting as much energy as you need, as you want, as you desire, as you like, and it keeps you stuck. It keeps you in a place where you feel frustrated. Like, hello, why can't you be consistent? And do you know what? The reason why I feel they're not putting in as much effort here, and I don't want to make excuses for them, but I have to... Look, I'm the messenger, okay? Don't shoot the messenger. Um, work. Work-related events um, and activities here with the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Those are two very strong career cards. And to me, this is them investing a lot of time and energy into work, putting in more consistency into work. And the Six of Pentacles as well is that they're really just focusing on those other aspects. And then eventually, I feel after the Mars retrograde has ended, which by the way, ends on the 13th of November, things astrologically clear up a little bit more. And so after the half of November, I see them being more communicative with you. That that really opens you up a bit more here with the Ace of Cups. It makes you feel more, um, what's the word? It makes you feel more, more happier, more joyful. 
um, and it just sort of restores your faith a little bit. Because what I see here is the Nine of Swords is about, you know, how much time and effort they're putting into other things. The Eight of Swords is the amount of time and effort they're putting into, you know, perhaps other people or other situations. It makes you frustrated. But here, finally, this Ace of Swords shows them taking action towards you, putting in communication. It opens up this Ace of Cups. You feel happy. You feel content. And then also you've got here the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so this Empress and this Wheel of Fortune here shows that they're quite slow to do things. Um, but... Still, they think about you, they care about you. It's just that, again, you know, with this Wheel of Fortune, again, this is Jupiter energy, which connects to their work. They're really focused on that. And so you may feel like you're at this point where you kind of feel a little bit more stable with your twin flame than at the beginning of the month. But still, it's like you're waiting. You know, you feel like things are a little bit stuck, stagnant, stationary, a little bit like the wheel. But you still feel like, okay, well, at least things are a little bit more stable, a little bit better than what they were. And that's the Empress here where they put in a little bit more effort. So it's a little bit like um, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, so like start, stop, you know, let's see the outcome. And then I'll pull the eternal messages. I haven't forgotten, I promise. <laughs> okay, got the two of pentacles for the outcome, see? It goes back and forth, back and forth, like start, stop, hot, cold, here and there. You know, it's, it's that sort of two-sided energy. And I was gonna also do the motion of like this roller coaster where it's like, the beginning part of November is like, you know, difficult, challenging, and then it gets a bit better, and then it goes down again, you know, it comes back up again. It's literally like this Two of Pentacles card where you've got the waves right in the background, you know, it's like kind of up and down, up and down. It's the kind of energy I see here. Okay, got all of the cards. So you've got here the High Priestess. High Priestess is connected to um, intuition, intellect. Your twin knows that you're a smart person. They know that you have feelings towards them as well. And you, your twin flame here feels like they also need to get themselves together so that they can support such a strong individual. I don't feel like they see you as someone who is stupid. They, they don't see you as someone who is vain in that sense. They know that they need to step up their stuff which is also why I feel sometimes they really are focused on their career and other things that they have got going on is because they know they want to or need to become much more stable so we've got the high priestess this is also about you staying in your own energy looking after yourself self-love self-care regardless of what your twin is doing you've got here the king of swords okay so this is them being a little bit stubborn and kind of doing things as they want to and when they want to so that includes communication taking action etc when they want to right? Not always when you want it to happen. And um, that can sort of keep you a little bit stuck. But also the Six of Wands still shows them coming towards you and trying to make a little bit of effort, even if it's a bit, you know, they're trying to. So let's go to the eternal messages. So these are messages from them to you. I'm gonna try and get three. If we get a few more, it's okay. There we go. So it says here, you really are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Well, okay, okay, okay. We've also got here, I've thought about living together. And it says here, I'm being subliminal with how I feel about you. Okay, so sometimes, yeah, you may not know how they're feeling towards you. And you may feel like they're keeping everything to themselves and you just have no idea. I feel like some of you are very afraid of like asking them and being forward with them because you don't want to like push them away. But it does show here that they have thought about a future with you, which they start to see more towards the end of uh, November here with the Wheel of Fortune. But they're very slow about it and they also don't express everything that they think. That's the problem as well, which, which sort of makes you feel like, oh, what do you actually think about me? And um, they, this, your twin flame definitely does feel that you are the best thing that has happened to them. It's just that they, they stay stuck and sometimes they don't process all of their thoughts in the way that you process them because, you know, it's one of those things where you think that, oh my God, if this is the best thing, then I'm going to cherish it. I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to you know, put so much effort. They realize this and then they realize, wait a second, I need to get the rest of my life together, you know, and I need to get everything else together before I go towards this. So it's something really interesting here um, that we do pick up on, which they are processing much more as you get through November. So this is your reading, Gemini. I hope this helped you, gave you a bit more clarity. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course my intention items, which are on Etsy. 
and do take care. Bye.